Okay, common question here. Is grammar important in speaking? I can talk, but I can't get the grammar right. Well, yes and no. But for general fluency, not so important, actually. Not really. Just, just to be uh, understood, just to communicate, grammar is not so important. Pronunciation is actually more important for being understood, for just general communication. Pronunciation and vocabulary are more important. Uh, and listening, of course. But, you know, as you get more advanced, like if you need to use English in a professional business situation, uh, then grammar does become more important. But it will develop with time. So right now, your grammar is not so good. Continue listening, listening, listening a lot. Continue reading a lot. Reading will help your grammar a lot, actually. Reading and audiobooks. Because for writing, grammar is much more important. For writing, grammar is important. You need good grammar and good spelling, you know. So writing is very specific. So by reading books, you're getting some, some great grammar input also. So my advice is to relax about grammar until you are fluent. Become fluent first. You can just speak and communicate very well and understand very well even if you make grammar mistakes, but your communication is fairly easy, then you can do more reading, do more audiobooks, and your grammar will improve a bit more. And of course, things like the point of view stories are very important for improving your spoken grammar. So yes, grammar is important, but learn it in these natural ways. What's my name? My name is A.J. Hogue. Do you know where you are? Okay, here's a good one, May May. Um, how can I improve my confidence? I'm scared to talk with others in English. Hmm. Also, common question. Well, we have uh, several techniques for this. Passel uses these techniques. Uh, in their classes, where this is why one of the reasons why we we practice English, you know, in this energized uh, emotional state, right? With high energy, we get excited and then learn English. We get excited in class and then practice English. We get excited, then we listen to lessons, and it's because when you're excited, you have a more of a feeling of energy and kind of power. And this actually will help you feel more confident or feel less nervous when you speak. You're training yourself to feel good when you use English. So that's how you do it. That's why we try to connect these strong positive emotions to English learning. That's why we want you to feel strong and happy Okay, Ooh, here's a long one. Let's see. All right, I just English by role playing an actor, talk with actors in conversation. I, must, I feel I must speak faster, although, in fact, when I listen to the conversation, their speed is normal and very natural. Ha! Ah. So that is how to speak faster and fluently and naturally. Please help me. Okay, so the question basically is from Philip here how to speak faster? And my answer is it's usually not necessary. Listening speed is very important because other people, native speakers especially, can speak quickly. So you need fast listening. But for your speaking, really, Philip has a, a specific case. He's an actor. So he needs, it sounds like he needs to... Uh, speak more quickly because he's trying to do acting. But for most people, I would say speak slowly. Speak slowly is fine. Now, as an actor, I can't give you acting lessons, but uh, 
you know, one thing you might try is maybe try to just have the character speak more slowly. I mean, there's a, there are a lot of uh, great actors who speak slowly. Clint Eastwood is a, an example. Clint Eastwood speaks quite slowly in his movies. In fact, he's kind of famous for that very slow kind of speaking. Go ahead. Make my day. Right? He speaks slowly. So if you're an actor, if you have, and you need this, uh, you need to use English, find a way to do it more slowly. I generally do not recommend focusing too much on speaking speed. Now, we do exercises sometimes. We do some, in classes and in lessons, we do practice fast speech, but that's really more for nervousness. We're trying to get past nervousness, get past thinking too much. But in a normal conversation, talking to someone, just forget about speed. Speak as fast as you need to. That's my best advice. <laughs> How can I have an accent? Ah, an American accent. Okay. So, good question. How do you develop an American accent? Listen to my videos and copy my speaking. So, use, use the technique I mentioned before. Pause, copy, pause, copy, pause, copy, pause, copy. But, you know, just use American, use American audios, American speakers. And you can use me. I have a very normal American accent. Or you can use another uh, American that you like. Like you like their accent, you like their pronunciation. And just do your best to imitate them, right? Copy them. Pretend you are an actor and you're trying to become them. Okay, I have a problem with my comprehension when I talk with foreigners. Okay, I understand that. That's, it's, oh, again, this is normal, okay? So, this is totally normal. So, you're talking with foreigners. Now, it depends, right? But if, if they are American or British, they probably talk very fast. They might use slang and idioms. And you might be nervous. <laughs> so, all of these things will make it more difficult. So, what can you do? Number one, uh, when you're feeling ready, listen to TV and movies. TV and movies help because they are closer to real conversations, closer to normal conversations. So TV and movies. Now first, TV and in the beginning, TV movies are too difficult for you probably. So start lower. Start with lessons, stories, things like that. But eventually you can jump up to TV and movies. The second thing is try to meet foreigners a lot. Because the nervous part, you will relax more when you do it more, right? First time, <sighs> second time, still a little nervous. But after a hundred times, you'll be very, quite relaxed. You're used to talking to foreigners. No more nervousness. It will feel easier. So that helps too. Part of it, it's like public speaking. Some people ask me, how can I be better at public speaking. There are techniques, but what the easiest answer, the easiest technique is just do it a lot. <laughs> if you do public speaking a lot, you will, at least you will become less nervous. You know, maybe your skill will, will not be great, but at least you will feel more relaxed. So same with conversations with foreigners. Do it more, you start to relax. You realize also, if you make a mistake, eh, it's no problem. If they don't understand you one time, eh, no problem. 